subscribe to the channel right now, youtube.com forward slash jfreshofficial. If you just locked on, it's Wednesday night, right here, it's Fire Radio with me, Jay Fresh. Each and every week, from Wednesday from 9pm through till 11pm, we go through with the kind of best in black music, past, present and future. We rep for the US and we rep for the UK as well. And the track in the background is by a new UK artist who goes by the name of Byron. And that particular track featuring Emily Sands entitled New Jay is getting so much love right now. It's such a great tune and I'm happy to announce that um, Byron, the vocalist and the producer, Mr Loco, they're both in the building right here at Fire Radio. Hello, how are you? I'm real good, boys. How are you feeling? Do you know what? I'm very, I'm very happy. Anytime I come into anywhere and there's loud music of the nature that I love, I'm a happy man. And you've come in, played loud music, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy. Easily <laughs> pleased, basically. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You now, might say that. I heard there was a little bit of confusion about getting to Fire Radio. It was, like, it was only about two years ago we moved from a little kind of underground building to the huge building that we have now with a huge fire in massive yellow illuminated <laughs> lights out the front. And I was getting a few texts going, we can't find a station. What's going on there? Well, um... Well, basically, it's all down to satellite navigation. Okay, yeah. Hey, it's soon. down to the driver. It's down to Lokes, man. What? Okay. It's not my job to look out the window. It's his job to look out right, the window. When you can drive, <laughs> then we can talk again, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can't talk about bad driving if you don't drive yourself. That's Shut up, chauffeur. So we're, <laughs> we're just laying this down to technology and that's it, yeah? Yeah, yeah so well, yeah, it was a little bit of confusion, but we got there in the end. Well, we're all, we're all guys here, so it's clearly not driver error. That's Ooh, got to be said. It's controversial. Not, it's not driver, With your lady in the room, that is controversial. <laughs> yeah, big up Hayley from Strive Agency as well. Out to all the ladies, I love you. I know you can drive, really. You just can't park. Okay, right. Let's <laughs> anyway, get, yeah. Let's get back to topic here, of course. Uh, February 2010, saw your debut mixtape drop. Yep, yep, Jack, yep. Jack of None. Jack of None. You know what I mean? So let's break it down for listeners. For you musically, where did it all begin? How did it all start for you? Wait, um, I mean, essentially, like... I I'm 24 and I've been uh, I went on Pirate Radio when I was 15 years old and it was something that I just gravitated towards when I was the person playing garage music at a party that nobody else wanted to listen to that was me and then about six months later they all wanted me to do their parties uh, but anyway we won't mention that but yeah so I just started off just listening my brother used to play garage in a room old school garage and like it just continually progressed and I went into hip hop and I just love writing words and making us expressing myself in a in, in, in that form and it's just continually progressed from pirate radio to raves to tours to all that business and now I'm at the point where I believe that hopefully the bigger thing is the next step you know Wicked now you mentioned heavily your UK garage influences um but as a wider picture, what kind of influencers were there? Any MCs? Were there any UK artists, US artists that you know? It seems you heard their kind of heard their tracks. You like, you know what? You've inspired me. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, let me just say something. Firstly, yeah, the gentleman to my left in- has inspired me because when we met each other, yeah, like I was perhaps not not as didn't have a direction that I really knew where I was going and perhaps neither did he and so he's he's a very big inspiration. His beats mm. and my lyrics that's where it comes from. But in terms of artists. Uh, I used to listen to Jest when I was a little younger. Um, I used to, yeah, 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 exactly. Right down there, that little. <laughs> uh, Heartless Crew were very big influence on me. Um, pirate radio station MCs who probably don't exist anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, they were very big influences on me. Uh, I used to like a lot of the early Garage MCs, like, you know, Garage DJs, CKP, all them people, you know. And, um, and yeah, I just love music. I listen to it all the time. It doesn't matter what it is, you know? Wicked, man. Part, part of the bio that we have for you, of course, it's it's heavily noted, uh, based and hailing from Slough, which, <laughs> with the greatest of respect to Slough, is perhaps not known as as the most fruitful kind of musical landscape. It's not, it's not the musical hub of the world, that's that's for sure. Exactly. So, you know, is this is this a huge hindrance in a way? Has it kind of worked to your advantage? I mean, break I, it down for me. Yeah, I'll t- I, I tell you what, right? Like... Obviously, I'm from Slough, and I'm very proud. I, I believe if you cannot be proud of your origins, then you don't really have anything, you know? So, uh, when I grew up, a lot of people from my area perhaps would say, oh, you know, oh, I'm repping West London, I'm repping West London, when, yeah, I'm I'm 20 miles away from London, but it's not London. I don't live in London. I'm not from London, like... And it's not a disrespect to anybody from London, or... I, do, I don't care where you're from, do you know what I mean? If you can make good music, as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's what it's about. So, the Slough thing... It's been a hindrance in the fact that maybe a few years ago, I'll tell you what, I had this phone call once, right? And it's Giza. We made a tune about the 7-7 bombings, right? And the guy phoned me up and he goes, is this, the, is this the producer of that day? Which is what the tune was called. And I was like, no, this is the MC. And basically the guy, <clears throat> uh, 
was very complimentary, uh, strangely complimentary. And then basically, I said I was from Slough, hung the phone up. So I was like, hmm, hmm, okay, is, is, you know, if, if, if this is the way it's going to go, then perhaps, you know, I shouldn't say that. But I was like, no, no way. And now, now I've got into the London thing a little bit more and I say, look, I'm from Slough. It gives me something different. I'm not mm. just from, I'm not repping West, I'm not repping East, I'm not repping <laughs> South. I mean, that's cool. I'm repping music and I'm repping my town. I love, I love my town. People can say negative things about it. Ricky Gervais can say what he likes about it. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. There, Thank no, you, you very really. much, my friend. You have hyped me up a little piece more. Do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man. I mean, if you've got shame about your origins, then yeah, what you got? So, basically, you're, you're suggesting it's just the hard work and blood, sweat and tears to kind of just... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, you can be from anywhere, you know, and you can... And you can... As long as you believe in yourself and you push yourself and you put yourself in a position to... For people to hear you. I mean, you know, obviously, like, oh, you know, I don't want to start talking rubbish, but, like, DJ Target listened to the CD and he, and he listened to it. And he specifically complimented myself and Loco. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's not. We didn't ask him to do that. And if it, the music was cack, he wouldn't have done that. You know. So obviously you've got to be confident in yourself, and it don't matter where you're from. Wicked. Now, obviously you two working together on the tape, Loco. I'm going to put this over to you. How do you work yeah. together in the studio? Is it is it very serious? How do you interact? Is there fighting, screaming? Kicking? I would say it it's nice about thing? as unserious as it could possibly get. No, normally I don't know. I mean. We've known each other for quite a while now, and obviously, you know, we like to have jokes and mess about and stuff, mm. but there's a time when it all gets serious, and it depends. It depends on the type of tune as well. Like, obviously, if we're making something a bit light-hearted, um, you know, we'll probably stay in that, that frame of mind, but if it's if it's a bit deeper than that, we, need, we just sort of knuckle down to it, really. Um, yeah, it just all depends. And, of course, um, from your angle as the producer, your kind of mm. production notes are quite heavy, like to Joe Budden and Getz and other people like this. Yeah. So, again, have you got any particular advice because from a UK hip-hop angle, although in recent years the exposure's kind of there for yeah. people, again, it's, it's almost like there's a glass ceiling to kind of break through. You know what I mean? What, what yeah. kind of pointers would you push to people who are going, you know what, I've got a few beats, but I don't know what to do, I don't know how to get there, but it's all American, uh, is there any point? I would say that it is like, it's, well, it comes down to talent, I guess, slightly as well. That's got to be there in the first yeah, place. to be fair, you've got to <laughs> Don't get far without that, so practice your craft. And um, just network as much as possible. Like, all those all those placements that I've got, not that it's tons and tons, but they've all come from just me, you know, going out and meeting people and networking on the internet and trying to contact as many people as I like, just just through myself. Like, up until this point, I never had a manager before, so it's just, it's just a case of trying to get your name out there and trying to meet as many people as possible. Exactly. It's not something that happens overnight. Mm. You've got to put the effort and application in, of course. Exactly. Of course. And don't be afraid to harass people. It does mm. pay off sometimes. In the Pushy but polite, I believe. Yeah, the phrase. yeah, yeah. Pushy in but the polite. Right, right, in the right <laughs> yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah. we're going to move this on quickly because we're going to get yeah, into yeah, some yeah. of your tunes before the freestyle. Um, yeah, the freestyle that I'm putting on you, you're doing it whether you like it or not. Yeah, right? cool. <laughs> of course. That's why I'm here, man. What's the um, What's the next step for you? I mean, I know this tape is just kind of just dropped and it's just kind of getting out there at the moment. But future projects that you're working on, what's going on? Okay, all right. Quick roundup. I mean, this is this is my heart, and my soul. This is what we're, I've spent four years making. So what I'm going to do is push this to as far as it can go. Videos, everything, because I believe that the content within this CD is good enough for, for 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 anyone you know to hear and like and enjoy so um yeah basically just um continue to make music and take over the world <laughs> exactly taken from the jack and our mixtape sound of byron right here at fire radio Wait, he's from out in a stick, so I doubt he-